Ever since I was little, I used to be running around the streets a lot, every day and almost all day. My mom would always have to call out my name from like around my house and say, come back home for dinner. And I used to have a lot of stranger friends that I met on the streets. And of course, my parents would always say, don't talk to strangers. But I have a f I, I've always had that feeling intuitively that, you know, somehow I could con connect with the strangers a lot, so I trusted them, you know. And um, I used to learn a lot from the streets. I used to look at what other people were doing and learn, pick up some, you know, um, protocols <laughs> on the streets or something like that. And I think most of the lessons that I've learned were on the streets by strangers more than at school. I love being on the streets again, you know, ever since my childhood with the camera because it makes me run just like I used to when I was little. Whenever I see something that I want to shoot, I just run across the streets and jaywalk all the time and I just get there and I shoot it and then I leave. But almost every time I look back, I always look back before I leave just in case that they would, people would look back at me and then that would give me a chance to smile at them, you know, and that's it. It's very inspiring for myself because all these characteristics of me that I thought were very useless, you know, trying to talk to strangers and being good at talking to strangers, it, it was never useful for me elsewhere. But, you know, it's proving that it's proving to me recently that it's very useful in street photography. And I have extremely large hands for a girl. And that even that is proving to be very helpful in holding my camera on the streets and Everything, every little thing about me seems to lead up to what I'm doing right now and being on the streets with the camera. And it makes me happy, you know, that maybe I was meant for this, maybe I was built for this. I started with a digital camera in high school and um, it was a Canon 450D, but I never connected to it. I mean, I have some cool shots from it, but I never connected to it and we had a dark room then so that's it's been since high school that I did dark room stuff but it was never until um, last year like a year and a half ago when I went to study abroad in Atlanta and they had a dark room there and I just took my I bought a just a cheap camera that was used in the 1960s Canon FDQL it's it's one of those cameras that make the clunk noise when you um, push the shutter but I took it and I started shooting with it and I connected so much with it. The whole process of, first of all, not being able to see what you shoot, it connects you to photography so much because you think about it once more. You think, oh wait, was that the right angle? Should I do it again? Because like in digital, you can see it and obviously it's wrong, so you do it again. And, but with film, you just you, you keep thinking about it. It just lingers on you the whole day and then you develop it. And then as you're developing, you worry, oh, am I doing this right? Is the chemical right? And then, and then when you finally see it, it's a whole different picture from what you've imagined or what you've intended sometimes, you know? And that's, it, the whole process makes you think about the ph photograph and the subject in that photograph three to five more times than you usually would with a digital photography. And that's why I connect so much to my subjects, you know? Like, I, I remember them. I remember exactly what they were wearing, where they were, what they were saying, how they were smelling. I love film photography and a lot of people say that thanks to technology we can do so much, but I feel like it's because of technology that we can't do a lot of things. It it makes us incapable of doing things alone. But film photography has enabled me to empower myself in that way because I'm more in control of the situations that I'm in. And so it's all onto me. It's it's all dependent on me not being able to use the right developer or you know using the wrong fixer that gives me the results so i'm more i'm more careful now and it pushes me to develop myself further and i've never really had that kind of ambition before so yeah for for me it's film all the way film photography for the win and film is definitely not dead
어, 꽃이 이뻐요? 네. 아줌마 저기 의자에 한번 앉아보시네. 제 초상화 찍어드릴게. 동네. 어. 아 사진 작가인데. Well, it was really amazing, you know. Like I just asked her, I just told her that the flowers were really pretty, and then I asked if I could take a shot of her, and then she was like, you know what? Come to my house. I want to look pretty for you. And then we started talking, and these are the kind of things that's really amazing about street photography is that. It puts you in a position where you talk to people that you would never have interacted with before. On her part as well. Like, where ha would she find a girl of my age that would be interested in talking to old ladies? And where would I ever, you know, talk to an old lady like her? So the reason that we went to her house was because she wanted to look pretty for the picture. And so we were faced with the whole process of a woman in her 70s getting ready. For a portrait, and it's nothing like I've ever seen before. And it happened to me because I looked through her um, old photo book. She was so, she still is, but I mean, she was so beautiful when she was young. And she told me that she used to be a model for her university's um, coffee house. And she talked about how she used to pose for people. So she was telling me, "Oh, you know, I, I can I can pose like this. You know, I can I can cross my legs." Um, oh, you can do a shot of me drinking the coffee, and then her cup was empty. <laughs> um, it's just those things, you know. And I feel like I'm seeing my future. You know, I could be one of those people that would be telling other people, "Oh, I used to photograph people on the streets." Da da da. And it's amazing how such passion continues through generation. And ah, uh, I feel like we're gonna be really good friends already. <laughs>